Hi there, this is a punk with toys and today I'm going to be talking about the G.I. Joe Bat in anticipation for the G.I. Joe Classified Bat that hopefully I should be getting tomorrow from GameStop and then I will definitely be doing a review on that and a comparison to the original Joe but today we're going to talk about something different. So if you like the channel, give me a thumbs up, give me a follow. It helps with growing the channel. It also shows me that you guys are interested in what I'm doing. And, uh, you, know, you know, hopefully, you know, it, it grows. And I really do enjoy doing some stuff like this. So, today we're going to be talking about the G.I. Joe Bat. Um, but not just the bat, but how to make it so his chest piece, how you can make copies of the chest piece, fairly easy for your collection if you have some that are like this. So it's actually real simple. You don't need a lot. And now this is not to remake it and sell it on eBay as a complete. This is so you have one of these guys in your collection and you have a couple of them like this and you just don't want it to have this weird gray piece but you do have one that is on it. So all you're going to need is some scissors, a razor blade of some sort, either some Elmer's glue, either one, a little glue will help. That's actually what I used. And then you're going to need some sort of thick paper. Now I have some 80 pound hammer mill cover. Um, it's some sort of card stock. So you're gonna need a nice printer to do this, all right? So this is not just a flimsy type paper. It's not gonna look wet when you glue it on. And you're obviously going to need some sort of copier. And obviously you're gonna need a color copier. Now I'm going to suggest right off the bat to use a laser copier and not an inkjet. Now I do, I, I work on printers, so it's actually pretty easy for me to come by one of these, but you work in an office, you probably have a color printer that you can use a color copier. Um, and if it's a copier, then it is, it's not ink, which the difference between ink and toner is toner is a powder. If you're using an ink and you're trying to get all these details in it, it might smear and not to mention it's gonna be wet. Again, this is for your background and I'll show you how they look once I'm done. So anyway, Let's wrap this up here. Let's take a look at it. I'll show you what to do, how to get to doing this, and you can, you know, just make it look so your bats look like this, okay, rather than like this. But again, you also need one. So if you don't have one with the original, and if you have one that isn't falling off at all, don't bother taking it off. But a lot of these, like this one here, was peeling, all right? So I didn't have a problem just kind of stripping it off to make a copy. So anyway, let's do this really quick and then you guys can get these all done before your bats come in from GameStop. And like I understand, Big Bad Toys is starting to ship up too. I didn't get a notifica notification from them, but GameStop says tomorrow, hopefully. All right, so here I have my three bats and this one here is my original. And you know, because well, it kind of has that weird look to it. So the reason why you need a razor, and you don't need a full razor blade, you could just have the blade. And again, if this is fully on, you do not want to pull it off. Just leave it, all right? Wait till you find someone that has one. You probably have a buddy that has one, but most of these are starting to peel off due to the glue. So all you're gonna do is take your little razor. You're gonna kind of reach back here and depending how loose it is, just pry it off and it'll come right off. Now I have glued this one on before, okay? So this is the original, it's nice, it's sturdy. You know, you can see the glue right there on the back. So it's nice and sturdy. And this is what we're gonna use to make our print. Now, again, I guess if you had enough of these, or you know, if you wanted to fool around more, you could copy a bunch of these. Now, I'm only doing one 
And again, what I'm suggesting is some 80 pound cover paper. You want bright white. You want this to show up really, really nicely. Okay? So, all you're gonna do, all right, so let's take a look at, it, look at this and we'll get back. All right, so there we have it. We're my copier. Again, I'm using 80 pound cart, cart or 80 pound cover hammer mill, 100% white. You want it to be really white. Now, for the most part, we can just put it in the drawer because we're only going to do one of these unless you're doing a whole bunch. I'm not going to get into the do's and don'ts of why you would run um, run it through the bypass. So, here is our actual bat chest piece and you can kind of see it has that reflection all right again i suggest doing this on a laser printer or copier rather than an inkjet i haven't tried an inkjet but i would assume that because of the ink being a um a liquid rather than a powder you might get some smearing it's also going to curl and different things like that all right so you got to make sure you want it on full color and just make sure your resolution is up if you want it. And hit your start. And we're going to get one copy of our chest piece. And we'll see exactly if it comes out. Hopefully it doesn't jam on me here. copy and once again there it is all right so there we go that's what we just printed all right and you can see it's not it's not perfect but it looks better than having this gray here so here's one that i did before same printer and everything same same paper and that's how it looks. And then here it is compared to the original. I think it actually comes off looking pretty good. Now, obviously you don't get that little glare, but for the most part, this is for your collection, all right? And again, the reason why I do suggest thicker paper is obviously it doesn't just flat down, but more than anything, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna dab it with a little bit of glue and pop it on here so this is my non-complete one now, i will say this if you look here you have two different bats it looks like this one at one time maybe it popped in i don't know maybe i took it off one of these other ones i'm not sure this was the best bat that i had so he's the one that i put the original one so and take your elmer's glue all right and honestly, all you're gonna do is just put a small little, wait, I guess I gotta clean that off first. Just gonna put a small little dab. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> not maybe this is, who knows was the last time this was used, okay. A little dab just like that that's that may actually be too much but the thicker the paper the less you're gonna have now this thing is just going to push out so if you use too much when you put it on it's all gonna come out the outside now you can see here it doesn't fit exactly perfect all right but again with the thicker paper that you're gonna use this doesn't come off all wet especially when you use the Elmer's glue. Again, you could use something like this if you wanted to, the clear glue that the kids use, but I'm just not a big fan of that. So this here is not gonna have a wet feel, a wet look. It's not gonna curl the same. This here, unfortunately, has been 
glued probably more than once. So I'm gonna take my best bat here and gonna do the same thing to put this back on again. Just a small dab of glue. Again, that seems like it might be too much, but this thing is actually bowed out more than any of them. And then you're just gonna slide it right on there. And you can actually see where looks like I used possibly too much glue. So I'm gonna have to get that off a little later. Luckily, Elmer's glue <laughs> dries clean. But again, that's why I said you don't use too much. All right, so there you have it. There is, this is the bat right here with the original on it and a little bit of glue it looks like. <laughs> Can't tell if that's glue or the silver. And then you have this one here. So again, this is a backdrop. You're not gonna sell this on eBay and say, hey, this is, you know, complete. But your backdrop, here you have one bat, you have your bat back here. It looks way better than having one without it. And again, this one here is another one that I printed up too, just to make sure. All right, so there you go. That is the way to restore your bat. All right, so there you have it. Quick and easy way to restore your bats to make it look more presentable in your collection. Here in my bat, he's not complete. He's actually missing what I always thought was the gun, but I believe it's actually the flamethrower. So if anyone has an extra one you want to send me, hey, feel free to get a hold of me. And even if you have a 3D printed one, so I can have one that looks almost complete. Um, anyway, there's your bat. This is a good one. My complete one there. Again, I actually don't let me take my glasses off. Actually, it's not glue that's out there. So I didn't use too much glue. Like I said, just a dab. That is just a silver that made it look like glue. And here's your one. One of the ones. So you can't even tell. Like, if you were just looking at someone's collection, and you're looking in the background, you're not even going to be able to tell. So anyway, there you go. I hope it helps some people out. Um, I know I went quite some time having these guys. Two of them have no chest piece. The other one was literally just starting to fall off and... Finally, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go upstairs and use my printer. Not everyone have the color printer, or co you know, color copier um, in their house, but I guarantee you that you can probably find one in one of your offices or wherever where you work. Or you can just go pay, you know, again, I'm not gonna get into the fine details of why you shouldn't run 80 pound cover through the drawer if it's one copy, it's not a big deal. Don't go to this video when you call your uh, your repair tech and you're like, hey, uh, everything is bleeding all over and I've been running this 80 pound cover through the drawer because that guy's gonna look at you and say, you're an idiot. Actually, he won't say it. He's gonna mumble under your breath, probably text it to his boss, what an idiot you are. That's it, I'm rambling. Anyway, um, give me a follow on the channel, I appreciate it. Again, I enjoy doing these videos. And ho I hope that it helps somebody out. Um, give me a like on the video tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm going to have the classified bat. I can do the review. Um, I should bring my daughter in every day before school. <laughs> we actually go to Walmart because we have time between my son, dropping on my son, and waiting for her school to let her in. So we go to Walmart every day um, looking for the bat. Now the Viper, but now the bats are on their way and hopefully going to FedEx. And I tell you what, FedEx, man, it gets the Romulus here in Michigan and it's a crapshoot if you're gonna get it um, when, it, when they say, but let's just hope so because uh, I'm just a big child. Anyway, Instagram, a punk with toys. Give me a follow, like the channel, I appreciate it. It helps everyone out. And good luck restoring your figures. Have a great night.